Welcome back to Hamilton Life. The Bright Run is 16 years in now. It's a non-competitive, family-friendly one or five kilometer walk or run, and it's held annually on the first Saturday after Labor Day. And we're excited to uh, talk about the fact that um, the folks we've got here to uh, celebrate this uh, 16th year are cancer survivors themselves. We've got uh, Kalila Elliott and Jerry Nyman, and both of you um, have revealed that You've been through this. You've walked down mm -hmm. that road. Yes. And not only yourselves, but it's affected your entire families. Mm -hmm. Loved ones uh, yes. have dealt with breast cancer. So it's very real to you what very you're talking real. about today, Absolutely. right? Very real. Yeah. Yes. So, Jerry, the Bright Run uh, is coming up on September 9th, 16 years. You had a couple of years of virtual with COVID, but we're back, right? Two, two, second year now since COVID. It's all in Correct. person. Correct. We have changed the venue this year. So it's always been at Dundas Valley Conservation Area for the past 15 years. And this year we are moving to Christie Conservation Area in Dundas. So Beautiful we're excited spot. about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Kalila, it's a walk or run, so you don't have to be an athlete. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's for everybody, right? Exactly. Yes, that's right. You can bring the kids out. I mean, every year we see families bring their little ones, bring their pets. You know, dress them up in little pink tutus and, you know, get everyone and the whole community and the family involved. You guys are, are, are wearing the, the, the pink, so you're... It's become our favorite color. color. Right. Oh, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Kalila, this is uh, hard for people to imagine, but breast cancer isn't an old woman's disease, is it? Not uh, at all. Uh, who's at all. getting affected? It's everyone and anyone. I mean, as young as um, 20, 25, 26. How old were you? I was 39. Just had my 39th birthday in October, and I got my diagnosis in November. Wow. So, yeah. Is it more aggressive the younger you are? Um, I'm not sure if it's more aggressive. I know mine was very, very aggressive. Um, between my diagnosis and when I had my first treatment, the mass was about a 10 centimeter. So it was a rapid growth. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's uh, I, I'm not sure what the, you know, what's going on there in the body at that time, mm -hmm. why it seems to be so much more, you know, faster, faster growth. But I would say, I'm not sure for Jerry, if um, your experience, if it was a fast, fast growing as well for I you. I was fortunate that mine was found through a routine mammogram. So I pushed everybody, I, everybody even today, get those routine mammograms. Mm -hmm. They're really, really important. Mm -hmm. I was 56, um, caught early, did not need chemo, uh, had surgery, radiation, still on medication. I will mention I had a daughter-in-law that was diagnosed when she was 35 and two-year battle and she uh, passed away last February. So she was very young and it was very aggressive mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So uh, young, old, it hits women and it also hits men. Well, that's why you're so passionate about the Bright Run and making sure that you get as many businesses involved. Yes. In fact, your business, yes. Big Smoke, is, has partnered. Yes, absolutely. And um, I started volunteering with the Bright Run in 2017, soon after I had my surgery. And it's just been such an amazing experience. And so when my husband and I started Big Smoke, we knew right away we were somehow going to marry the two together. And every year, every chance we get, every big event that we do, Bright Run is connected somehow. And this past um, April, we had a big event and a dollar from every burger went towards Bright Run. Um, and now we actually have the flyers in store. When people come in, we talk to them about it, um, you know, and we just Anything we can do to partner with organizations like Bright Run, because it's not just a, a individual event, it's a community event. It's a city, it's a city problem, right? Mm -hmm. Not really a problem, but it affects, mm -hmm. you know, the whole mm -hmm. community. Do you need more businesses? Do you need more volunteers? Do you need more participants? Bright Run always needs volunteers. Because Bright Run is um, solely run on volunteers, mm -hmm. no paid staff, uh, we really rely on businesses to partner with mm -hmm. us to help us raise funds mm -hmm. um, and so we encourage any business out there to partner with us we would love that yeah. um, and the fact we love volunteers and we are solely run on volunteers so we really push for that as well yeah. what's the best way to get in touch with you guys um, through the website brightrun.ca there's always uh, information there that you can find um, I would say that would be the best way. That would be the best way. Brightrun.ca. Yep. Yep. You um, can donate 
online as well, or you can decide if you want to participate. You can bring your team together, maybe the Cable 14 Bright Run team, <laughs> you know, raise money that way. There's so many different ways to get involved. We have a phenomenal group of yes. people. It's interesting. Uh, well, I can't imagine doing it without these amazing people. The, the numbers don't seem to be going down. People are living longer. That's where the real progress has been yes. made, right? Yes. True. True. Yes. But we're still getting the diagnoses. Yes. We are. And yeah. I think Bright Run is, is for, it, it stands for um, breast cancer research in the greater Hamilton area. So yes, we do focus on Juravinsky and McMaster, but I think it's really important to say all money that's brought in locally, if we find a cure locally, that's going to affect the world mm. globally. 100%. Um, so whatever we can do locally, uh, the money is not going to stay local because research and a cure is going to be global. So we really want to push for that. Get involved. Brightrun.ca, September 9th. Thank you both so much for being here. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so, so much, much for we having us. This. My yes. pleasure. All right, we'll be right back and we're going to eat some delicious award-winning pizza. Please stick around. <laughs>